hello guys welcome to the studio in this video we'll take a look at how you can use some sampling techniques to make your workflow a lot easier especially for those sample kings and sample queens out there that are using mpc as their workstation now let's dive right in welcome back this technique is simply to make your workflow a lot easier and then you have an understanding of why you are doing what you're doing. So before we proceed, I would like to just load up a sample. So let's head on to browse, inside SD, samples, let's go in here. Okay, I think let's just use this for the sake of the whole training purpose. Now, the first thing we're going to do is if you go to your sample edit, you see something of this nature, right? and um you're wondering how do you make it work let me first of all process this let me normalize it so at least a little bit you know louder sort of hope it's not too loud now okay good manageable now this is a sample you are trying to work with you're basically trying to chop that sample in such a way that you can make use of it individually right now the very first thing you want to do let's say you go to your chop mode and you want to do manual manual basically means you play it then as it's moving you use your pad to strictly select those spots where you actually want the sample to start right so let's come this way i like to use my zoom and i'll bring this here keep it where my eyes can see now you can see that's one two three four so let's say those are the four that i need right as far as this is concerned you can see one two three four then i need to also put the ending of this particular one so let me bring it down from here let's go this way let's say this is just all i need right for one two three four these are the four that I want to get out of here. Now, the next thing you want to do is put everything together in a program of its own, right? Then you have to use shift and then you press convert. But before we do that, most of the time, if you need to know what exactly does this link slices does. Now, basically, you can see from what we have right now. Let me expand and show you and put this four just here. If I come to the first one and I edit the ending, it automatically move the beginning of the second one it's simply because link slices is on so it's linking all the slices together if i need to edit them separately and individually especially for vocals that have spaces in between and you don't need the spaces so what you do is uncheck this link slices right then when you edit the end of one it doesn't affect or impact the beginning of the second one so now come to the next one you can also edit the start and the finish the same thing you come to the third one the end the beginning then the fourth one same thing so that's just um, what that is for I use it you know sometimes when I realize that yes there are spaces in between the samples that might cause me trouble when I'm trying to do my work so I just unlink it and then you have the liberty to move anything you want the way you want it so now let's go back to you putting everything into a single program that you can move you know and put on your project anytime you want so from here what you can do now is hit shift and click on convert you know also if you hit process that is if you need just one part maybe just one you don't need the entire program probably all the chops that you've done you need only just one you can come to process and then probably extract it right you can extract it and make it into a new or a different sample and then you can now go to your browser and drag that particular sample onto your pad you can do that as well you can chop them individually and do that but this will just affect individual parts and that might take you know a longer time so the best advice will be to simply just click on shift click on convert now when you are here you see the four options you have here you have new drum program using slices new clip program new program with new samples and then assign slice to pad to understand so you can actually assign your slices to part directly from here 
right it's still it will still work get your work done but what we're trying to do is bundle everything together so that we can know where they are and if you want to apply any effects on them we can apply to that particular program and then it will take effect on all of them right so we'll come back to new drum programs but this is where it gets interesting the slice type slice type has two options right there is the non-destructive and there's the path parameters what is non-destructive non-destructive simply means if i export this particular chop that i've done right now and i take it to another program should i come back to this original sample and i change things and i switch things up it will affect the other one that's the new one so that new one is kind of like an instance that's a programming term anyway that new one is an instance of this particular one which means it is non-destructive it's just an extension of the original sample so if i go back there to modify things it will definitely affect any other instance that is attached to that particular sample but if you use path parameters, you are saying, you know what? This new program you are trying to create, let it be independent. So I don't want it to have any link with the other one. Now, the bad side to that is, if you do that a lot, it means you are going to use a lot of your resources. Because for each time you create that, it uses more of your memory that you are using currently to work on that project. So the project becomes heavier because the files are going to be replicated and duplicated, right? But for the one that says non-destructive, it is just an instance is just referencing the original sample and that will not impact your memory size so we're going to do the two so i'll just show you in practical how that works right so this first one we're going to say do it it has already done it right then we'll come again if you come back to main and you go here you will see it here is it this is the one that we just saved right this is it right here now check this out if i go back to the sample edit you can see this is actually the sample in itself the one we we're still working with earlier not the one that is currently on the other program this is the sample in itself so if i change anything up here it will affect it but then before i do that i need to come here again go to convert change these two path parameters then i'll hit do it it has actually also moved everything out to another program entirely. Now, let's go back to sample. And I want to modify some things here. This, let me modify the start. Bring it here. You see? Let me modify the start. Same thing with this. The ending. If I come back to the main, this one that I told you, come back here, is non-destructive. Will have taken the characteristics of that particular original sample. So not finish, you see? But if I go to the next one, which is part parameter, this is independent of the original one. To finish play up to the end to play to the end to start from the beginning you can see that if you want to find out how exactly the wave patterns are if you go to program edit and you go to samples you see it right here you see that so i believe by now you understand the difference between you using the non-destructive and you basically just using the path parameters, you know, to convert your chops into a different and a separate program for your use. Now, if you come back to your main and you go this way, you come to this one. If you go to program edit, you can see that it has taken the shape of the sample edit we're working with. And if I go to the sample edit and I put everything back the way it was before, everything goes back to normal on the very first one program edit everything is now back to normal 
yeah so that's just what i want to show you also if you're just picking up your device and you want to learn how to mix and master your projects on the Akai MPC devices standalone without having to send it to someone else to do that for you. We actually have a course on Udemy that you can just access by clicking the link here or in the description below and you to definitely help you to get a grip of the basics and even to the advanced level of how you can mix your songs directly 100% on your MPC devices and it will sound as crispy as possible. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a nice day.